need to give this one a deep clean and some Dettol. Mmm, I just got a whiff of it. <laughs> I just got a whiff of it. God, why today is so busy? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this video probably started off in a weird way. Um, actually, so today is not a weekend. You know I like to film on the weekend. But um, yeah, I just thought maybe today I had um, enough time to talk to you guys and unbox some manga parcels. But I'm not too sure right now since um, I'm back to back with meet-ins. And right now it's only my free time. And I actually, I might as well just film and just do it in my lunchtime is what it is. But um, hey, how have you guys been doing? So today um, I was planning to do a vlog style video where I talk about my collecting journey and how I've been feeling and for you guys to get to know me more and then for the second half of this video I was planning to show you guys manga that I got all the way from Japan and do an unboxing and yeah so it's gonna be a chill video and um, just you know no need to set up or anything to show you guys how I've been doing and you guys getting to know me more you know no filter none of that stuff like you know me I'm just quite a chill person anyway um, especially if you've been around for a while now I think you guys probably already know what type of person I am I'm very like relaxed and just yeah um but um I also want to show you guys the reality of um my um how I store my manga since you all know I don't have a bookshelf behind me yet as um I have had a few comments um down below and people have been asking me oh like can you do like a collection video or show us what you have and I'm thinking might as well like who cares if I didn't have a shelf and that stuff and show you guys the reality of how I store my manga then I thought actually in the UK we're still in a lockdown and um our prime minister has announced that lockdown will be easing from april onwards so hopefully by then like um ikea will be open to buy my bookcase so if that happens then next month i will do my collection video and my organization video and show you guys um my whole collection but so far this is how i store my manga which is uh crazy but um so oh 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 so if you can see here behind me i have some manga stacked up here and then here on my table don't mind the mess oh my god that's so embarrassing every time i show you guys i'm always embarrassed but this is how i store my manga and then i have a little bookcase where am I pointing? Right there, if you can see. And then I have a little bookcase upstairs, and my brother kindly um, allowed me to use his um, cupboard space as well. Oh, I just spat on the camera. That's disgusting. I'm um, sorry about that. Um, and um, he has a little cupboard that he doesn't use it for anything so that's where my manga is stored as well so as you can see the reality of it it is not glamorous at all um hold up i think i just had an email yeah but um yeah my setup is not glamorous at all but it is what it is isn't it it is what it is it is what it is but um hopefully by next month i'll be able to get my bookcase so it'll be right behind me here and you'll see the lovely manga just all organized and that stuff but um yeah um that's how um things are going right now um oh i got an email this is actually struggle how how do people film when they have to work i i don't get it um hey tiff please ah oh, ah oh. God, work. Okay, let me just work a bit and I'll come back to you guys. Um, yeah, oh, just this is what I wanted to share with you guys as well. Um, but lately I've been so burned out that oh, why am I getting emotional? Like, lately I've been so burned out with work that I feel like I have no time to do things that I love, and I don't want to be that person that is like cogging the machine, whatever it's called, where I wake up, all I do is work and then sleep and I don't want that routine of um just not feeling myself if that makes sense and I think it's part of adulting but it's something that I'm not taking it in easily like work has been the thing is it's not hard labor or anything but it's just like the pressure and like how it just consumes all of me and all of my energy and that's why i like on the weekends to film videos as it's something that i like to do but lately uh, i've been so burned out that um i don't even feel like doing anything i just wake up and i'm like i'm just gonna lie around in bed 
and just do nothing and um yeah it does get to me sometimes because i'm thinking like hey this so life is so beautiful go do your manga go read your manga and all that stuff but yeah i do have a guilty feeling of buying manga that um i'm unable to um have time to read as well that really upsets me and i'll i think i'll touch upon about that later but let me just fill in this stuff that i need to do and send to my manager so i'm gonna try to multitask and talk to you all but um yeah please don't mind me just getting a bit like flustered just now um i think lately i've just haven't been feeling that great and um I know I do come across as a very bubbly, happy and positive person I am, but there are days that I do have um, my um, down times and I won't say, I won't go to the extreme of saying I've been depressed because I think that's a bit too much, um, but more of I've been having a season of darkness if that makes sense and um, lately I've been feeling a bit better and um, like I said like this is what I mean by manga as an investment to my happiness like buying manga, reading manga really makes me just oh, it fills my heart with so much joy and um, yeah it's something that makes me feel like oh this is me you know um, and um, yeah I feel like sometimes I can get too lost in the source with work and just life that I just feel like I get caved and uh, it's really hard for me to express myself um, um that's something that I'm working on and I feel like having this YouTube channel I've been able to like speak a lot more and be able to express how I've been feeling especially through manga so um I'm really happy that I created this channel but um I also want to say a big thank you to all of you for the love and support with helping this channel reach 3,000 friends like 3,000 subscribers that is 3,000 friends of recommending manga mingling with other people that love the same um, hobby as you have the same passion for manga and anime like that is awesome like yeah I wish I had something like this back in the day but um it's something that I've been very happy and it's um yeah like every morning I love like going on my phone and reading all your comments and replying to them it's something that just gives me so much life and energy I don't know how to explain it but it's it's a nice feeling and um, I was talking to like my mom about it and my boyfriend saying that to be honest I don't talk to anyone um, and I haven't had the time to even reach out to some of my friends as well and it makes me feel a bit shit because I feel like it, like they understand that I'm really busy and I'm going through my own struggles and that stuff but if, to me it feels like I'm neglecting people that I love you know but I think that's going a bit too deep sorry what I'm trying to say is basically I spend more time speaking to a lot of you and people that I follow on Instagram like that's I love the interactiveness and it does make me feel happy because it, does, it makes me feel less shitty of myself that's just me being honest as it feels like i have someone to talk to and someone that i can express my feelings and especially when it comes to manga it's something that i'm passionate about it makes me happy that there's a platform out there that i can talk and for you guys to come along and have a great time too like it's not just you guys having a great time i'm having a great time too so yeah i i'm just thankful for um 3000 friends and 3000 subscribers because wow like 3000 people that's like bigger than a school that's crazy or college that's crazy but um let me just reply to an email um and then i want to talk about um giveaways and that stuff but um just give me one second i hope you guys don't mind this layout i feel like it's good to show you guys like the reality of behind the scenes rather than i don't know why my accent sounded weird just then um but like just like the reality of like what goes on not just me sitting like hey guys this is what i got this is what i got that's not me okay um i'm definitely just go with the flow that type of person but one second i'll let you guys know what my plans are for giveaway so giveaway um the plan is um so we haven't met the affiliate links threshold yet unfortunately but i thought let me be that generous person because 
I understand how it feels watching people's videos and wanting to pick up manga series but uh, me either being financially unable to or just my circumstances where I can't buy manga that I want um, like I can now but I completely understand that feeling because I it took me years of patience okay um, I remember back in the day I used to be like I can't wait to like reach the age of 16 so I can get my first job so I can buy my first manga like I I completely understand the feeling and um, it can be frustrating so I thought let me fund this ma uh, manga giveaway that I want to do and also just show you guys my appreciation and how thankful I am to have you guys enjoy my content and yeah it's just sharing the love of manga that, that is, that's basically it and um yeah so the giveaway I'm planning to do nothing is set in stone or anything but the idea is to do a giveaway that has multiple winners and um, I would like to do my giveaway internationally so it's not just my viewers from the UK can participate but all of you can participate whether you're from Europe, America, Australia, New Zealand, Asia um, yeah so the plan is if you're from the UK I will do a personalised manga parcel or gift box to send to um, a lucky winner winner or maybe lucky winners it depends on um, what you guys think so I was planning to do um, a manga parcel filled with series that I love or series that you guys suggest so on Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already I asked a lot of you guys um, for manga ideas and suggestions to add for the giveaway and right now currently it is Sweat and Soap, um, The Promised Love Land, Otakoi, Perfect World and Spy X Family so those are the top series that people want to have in the manga parcel let me know down below if um, that's a great idea or those are great manga suggestions to have and then um what else yeah so either I do a manga parcel filled with those volumes that I mentioned or I do um, a manga parcel that is genre themed so I can do a manga parcel that is like shoujo themed and shonen themed and um, so there's like two winners from the UK that can get either box it depends which giveaway you want to enter so the plan is for those of you that are overseas I will buy manga from your Amazon wishlist so all you need to do is just send me your wishlist and I just need to put it in my basket and then it will send to you so that's one of the ideas another idea is to gift card um, I don't know what um, company though so most likely how it's looking maybe an Amazon gift card or a book depository gift card um, but yeah just let me know down below your thoughts and um, I'm really excited to do my first giveaway and I just want to show you guys how much I appreciate you all and I just want to give back to all of you and just share the love of manga you know so um, yeah let me know down below your thoughts so maybe in the next upcoming two videos I will do like a giveaway announcement and then I'll like introduce all the rules and how to enter yada yada you know but um right now I have no idea how to um go about it other than those ideas like I said but if you guys have any suggestions I would appreciate it and um yeah also I want to say a big thank you to all your lovely comments I definitely read all your comments and try to reply to all of them as well that is something that um, I look forward to every day but um, yeah that is the giveaway talk already um, I don't know if I have any more other talk cool uh, I feel like doing this YouTube has definitely helped me with my confidence with my speech um, I I, I've mentioned it quite a few times I do have dyslexia and something that I do get um what's it called like insecure about but I know it doesn't sometimes come across on camera but reality is I am not the perfect being you know and I do um, worry about like being misunderstood a lot as um yes that's the one time I do get misunderstood because I'm not able to like express like thoughts properly and um just the it's just the way my brain process i don't know how it works but i have this like motor disability thing where it's i just take my time to oh i don't know what my eyelash is doing there take my time to process things and um i feel like i'm just sharing a bit too much about me but what i've realized is that with this channel i'm sharing with you guys my collection journey and i feel like this channel has become more personable 
so um i noticed a lot as well like a lot of you guys uh, mentioned that oh when you watch my videos it feels like you're talking to me like you're talking to a friend or a sister and it means a lot you know and it makes me happy that you guys feel that way because i feel the same way about you guys as well especially when i do the premieres and um when i talk to you guys on the live chat that's one of my favorite things that I look forward to when I upload a video um, but also it's very nerve-wracking because I'm always scared that no one goes on there and no one will watch my videos but um, I'm glad that a lot of you guys just enjoy this channel and you guys probably are tired of me just repeating myself but I'm, I'm gonna be for real you guys do help me a lot in many ways that you guys don't know and um, I'm very thankful that I just had the guts last year to just be like yes let's start up this channel I've been wanting to start up my channel for a very long time but I just never had the courage to and um, I'm just thankful yeah I'm very very thankful but anyway let me show you guys um, my manga parcels that I got from Japan and so I got a box from Mandarake which is a website it's similar to um, eBay I believe that is in Japan the package is in awesome condition and it came all the way from Japan so it's been through many other countries like Hong Kong Belgium France it's so nice to see that the package is all well and good and and there's no cracks or anything because if you've seen my last Japanese manga haul, you have seen how beat my parcel was and um, yeah I, I'm just surprised how good the condition the box is and this took I think three days to arrive from Japan DHL and um, yeah that's crazy so the series that I bought in here is a guilty pleasure of mine but yeah I can't wait to show you guys what I got it is a manga that I read probably like five or six times now and I did reread this in the last lockdown last year but um yeah another manga series that I bought I believe there should be two series in here and I bought this from an individual Japanese seller on eBay and yeah this you guys most likely know what's inside because I have mentioned it in my last um Japanese manga haul on a series that I really want to get and if they had it in stock I will buy it and they did have the series in stock so I'm gonna unbox this but um right now it is lunchtime and I feel like the reason why I'm talking funny is because I feel a bit lightheaded so I'm gonna eat some food then I'm gonna come back and unbox um, these parcels and show you guys what I got so I just finished a meeting and I have about 45 minutes of spare time which I'm gonna use to unbox my manga and show you guys what I got so I'm gonna start off with the mandarake parcel and um, I took off my shipping label already so you don't know my address of course because we don't want no creeps following me and trying to find where I live in it when you buy items from mandarake from the website normally they don't tell you the shipping price straight away so when you buy an item they will email you back to confirm your order and then tell you the bill of the shipping cost which um, that kind of scares me because imagine you buy an item that's like 30 pounds but um, the shipping costs like 40 pounds then that wouldn't make sense right so um, I'm glad um, I got this on eBay so basically Mandarake now has an account on eBay so you can buy their items on eBay and the shipping price will be listed as well so um, a manga series that I've been wanting to get actually let me rephrase that because I never expected to pick up this series as it's in Japanese but um, yeah this is a series that came out quite a long time ago um, probably like early 2000s and it is a smart series and uh, let's open it but it is my guilty pleasure manga which i'm happy to have in my collection now and yeah so let's um unbox this parcel so let's start with the side and um i love how nicely packaged this parcel is Ooh. okay i think that's enough there we go Ooh. So this is what's inside the parcel. So it's actually quite empty. It didn't feel like it. I feel like the paper really did a good job with the cover. So let me show you what I got. So the series that I got from Mandarake is Love Monster. And let's open it up. Oh, makes me so happy. They just 
they really did a great job with packaging. I'm so curious what the condition is like and the paper and what the cover art all looks like as when I bought this I only saw the spine so I don't even know what the cover art looks like. Japanese manga is definitely a lot more smaller than English published manga but yeah so this series has 12 volumes and it is complete so let's see what the condition is like. So there is a bit of yellowing which is quite normal to be honest is is yellow but it's not as yellow as some manga I have let me let me find a manga series that is super yellow in my collection oh yeah I see one I see one but hold up so I just grabbed a manga series that I have in my collection that is super yellow I might do a video where I'm gonna give my manga glow up where I wipe it down and sand it and all that type of stuff but this is a series that I have can you see how yellow it is or oh, just packaging let's take it out can you see this is so yellow, um, I don't even know, can I even fix this? Let me know down below, I would love to vlog me giving my manga a glow up but can you see how yellow it is and this series? So the difference is quite, it's not too far but it's not as yellow as this. So um, I'm pretty happy and I'm chuffed and I just like how it's packaged, it's so nice. Like now looking at the manga more, it actually doesn't look that yellow, it's only the top as you can see but the sides and the bottom is actually not that bad but to be honest with Japanese manga I'm not um, that fussed really as I buy Japanese manga to motivate me to learn the language more but um, yeah so this is Love Monster so on my anime list it says this has 12 volumes and it's completed and it has 82 chapters and this was published back in 2002 to 2005 so definitely a very uh, long time ago nearly 20 years that's crazy but yeah so the genres are fantasy romance supernatural harem school and shoujo i am surprised that it says harem i i normally i'm not a fan of harem manga so Ah, I'm actually surprising myself for some reason. I don't know why I never thought, oh yeah, it's not harem. So this series is by Miyagi Riko or Miyagi Riko. And yeah, let's open this up and see what cover art looks like. Definitely my guilty pleasure it has lots of great smut scenes. Now I'm thinking about it, since this series has a lot of yokai and romance and smut, it does remind me a bit of um, Blackbird. If you guys haven't read Blackbird, it is a great series that I love reading as well. It's one of my favorites to be honest. And and I just love the romance between these two characters but um, I forgot to read the synopsis for you guys actually let's read it together um, the synopsis of this series of Love Monster is after failing the entrance exams to a school of choice Hio Osora gets an acceptance letter from SM Academy but she didn't even apply or take his exams so when she arrives there's something amiss all the students are monsters and the head of the student council says he's her fiance right before he sprouts giant black wings so the main guy character is a tengu by the way and what strange fate brought osora to sm academy what supernatural fate awaits her after this so that is the synopsis of the series hopefully by me reading the synopsis you guys kind of have a gist of what this series is about but um, yeah, I would put it on the same level as Blackbird in my opinion. It's another yokai series, it's great, it's got lots of smut scenes and it's just, you know, you know, yeah. Um, it's a great one and yeah, let's see what the artwork looks like. But yeah, so it's about this girl who gets um, admitted to a monster high school and it's completely different from the human realm. And you just see how her love blossoms with the head of student council and it's just a very sweet series and yeah like I said it is a guilty pleasure of mine but yeah oh so I just got a whiff of these books and they don't really smell that pleasant and um, I think I might need to buy some dryer sheets and shove this in a bag but it's probably because it's been in this plastic wrap for a very long time just waiting for a seller to buy but oh yeah it's not um it's not a disgusting smell but it's just um it's a bit funky like it just needs a bit of airing that's how it smells but yeah let's get all the series out i'm definitely gonna wipe this down after this um i think i'm just gonna show you this series for now as i have another meeting soon so i'm just gonna show you the cover art and i'm gonna unbox my other parcel later after i finish work maybe around like 6 p.m or something as i have another meeting that's gonna like last three hours but yeah so this is volume one of love monster and oh why does this feel extra tiny 
So I'm just going to flick through some pages for you guys and you can tell the artwork is um, very cutesy. Sorry, it, I'm kind of like staying away from it because it kind of smells funky like I said. But it's not a bad funky but it's just an unpleasant smell. But um, don't mind me, okay? <laughs> So this is what the artwork looks like and it does look similar to um, Blackbird in a way as it's very cutesy and this is the main guy character and you can tell he's a Tengu, you can see with the wings but yeah I'm really excited to reread the series and it actually feels kind of um I don't know I just felt stick oh that smell definitely I'm gonna put all the manga series in a black bin bag but I feel like something is making my fingers stick to the paper I don't know what it is but I'm gonna fill it up with some dry sheets so it smells fresh but right now um, it smells funky <laughs> but uh yeah so this is what it looks like very very cutesy and i can't wait to reread this series as i said it is a guilty pleasure of mine oh does something come out okay i guess there's a little book flip and yeah so that is volume one and let's see what volume two looks like so volume two looks like this and it looks like some characters from the monster high school and let's flick through some pages here as well so if you can see here the girl is actually not just fully human she is actually half human and half tengu but um yeah this series is an interesting one and you just see how their love blossoms between the two main characters and it's really really cute and sweet but yeah so let's see what volume 3 cover art looks like this is volume 3, volume 4, to be honest this was quite expensive, this was I think roughly £55 for all these 12 volumes so it wasn't a cheap purchase but um, it was a series that I was thinking I do want to add it to my collection because it's one of my favourite smart series and this is volume 5, volume 6 Yep, 100% I'm putting this in a black bin bag. This is smelling ridic. <laughs> oh, volume 7. I'm so sorry with my reaction, guys. But, oh my goodness, I've been ripped off. This series only costs 390 yen. So, that means it costs like £2? £2! £2 of the original volume. Okay, um... I don't know if I regret picking the series. Well, I don't, the thing is, I don't regret it. I think I probably paid too much for what it is and from the smell of it it's just making me a bit i'm a bit upset with the smell that's why i think i'm reacting like this but this is volume 7 volume 8 volume 9 volume 10 and then volume 11 and then volume 12 which is the last one so oh that's really really pretty can you see so this is love monster and um, I'm going to pack this up and put it back in the box because I don't want to be near it right now because I need to give this one a deep clean and some dettol. Mmm, I just got a whiff of it. <laughs> just got a whiff of it. <laughs> oh, jeez. But um, yeah, that is the Mang series. Right now, I'm going to wash my hands. Um, it's not, I don't think it's Mandalaka's fault at all, but it is the seller who had this manga series um yeah they they must be a funky smeller you know because this this does not smell nice you know so i'm just gonna put it in a box and wash my hands and start my meeting soon but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this series unboxing i'm gonna unbox the other box in a few hours time but yeah see you in a second so i just signed off work and currently it is 6 p.m right now if you can tell i'm so sorry if i rambled so much throughout this vlog but it is a vlog style video anyway but i'm gonna unbox my other parcel from ebay which i'm excited and i just kind of get it out of the way as um i had these parcels sitting at home for like a week now and i just wanted to unbox it but yeah i feel a bit better now so it's been about three or four hours now since i unboxed the other parcel but not gonna lie after unboxing that parcel i did feel a bit like queasy like i did feel a bit unwell and i had like hours of um, meetings as well and i kind of feel a bit drained and tired right now but Let's unbox this parcel and get out of the way. So it looks like the seller put my manga in this milk tea box, which when I saw it, I was actually really happy because um, the first time I went to Japan, this was all I was drinking. 
we bought this milk tea in Family Mart and it tastes exactly like bubble tea tea, which I love. And it's the raw milk tea. And like, I recognized it straight away when I saw it. So parcels right here. Normally on a typical work day, I do get very drained and tired. So I try not to film on a weekday. Well, I can't even film anyway because um, I work. So um, yeah, um, so I feel a little bit tired. So I hope you guys don't mind. Hey, I like how this is packaged already. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is what inside the parcel looks like. And my God, did this ever leave me a message or a note? That's so cute. Let me let me see what this is. Oh, I'm so surprised because, um, yeah, they wrapped it like a gift parcel. That's so nice. I re oh, I'm so happy right now, uh, but I feel so tired. Ooh, is it stickers? Oh. <laughs> I love the scent already. I'm definitely going to buy from them again. Look here. Um, it's some Pokemon characters. I don't know what their names are. Comment down below if you know what the characters' names are. They are so cute. Look here. And it's stickers. Okay. And then the seller also wrote me a note saying thank you so much. But yeah, 100% after this video, I'm going to go on eBay again and go on the seller's website and shop from there because they have a lot of um, manga series that I really like. But um, because I'm on a budget, I was like, oh, maybe I'll pick it up next time if I like the seller. Out of my buying manga from Japan, this has been the best seller, just like the packaging and everything, but we'll have to see. I have to open the bubble wrap and see if they smell funky. That's another thing that I need to check because the one from Mandarake, unfortunately, that one, yeah, that right now is on the floor. Mm. I am going to have to proper make it smell nice before I can read and pick up the volumes again because when I had it in my hand, it felt... It had a weird like feeling i don't know it was sticky and grainy and yeah anyway so the main series that i wanted to buy from the seller was honey x honey drops and oh, look how nicely packaged this is wow this seller i need to give them like 11 out of 10. i could never wrap bubble wrap like this if you saw me the way i wrapped caitlin's parcel for our collab i could never do that like this look how nicely packaged it is yeah, 100% I'm buying from the seller again. The main reason that I bought from the seller was because they had Honey X Honey Drops in stock. And normally on eBay, um, I have seen this floating around. However, a lot of them don't ship to the UK or the shipping prices were ridiculous. So I'm glad I found this seller because, boy, the condition looks really good. It looks white. Whoa! Okay, I need to uh, unwrap this um, bubble wrap. But anyway, um, the seller was really kind to say, oh, if you are planning to buy another series, I'll give you a $10 off on the next series that you buy. So I picked up another series, which you will see in a bit. But um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy from the seller again. I have a few series in mind. Before, I was gonna pick up Honey X Honey Drops and um, Goodnight Pum Pum. However, Goodnight Pum Pum, the Japanese is kinda, how do you say it? It's too advanced for me because I'm not fluent I wouldn't be able to read it as it doesn't have Fudagana so um yeah um that's the reason why I didn't pick up Goodnight Pumpin instead but let's oh let's get some scissors and by the way guys if you didn't know already Honey X Honey Drops is actually my favorite series of all time um it's a series that I always go back to when I just need a good like pick me up a smut series just ugh, this always ticks the boxes for me and it's by the author or manga Minami Kanan which um I I don't know, a lot of you guys might agree with me, but I've come to a conclusion that for English publishers, Minami Kanan is blacklisted because her series is just too spicy, okay? It's too spicy for the English readers. But um, if you're from Spain, Germany, or France, you'll be able to read her series as her series are published in French, German, and Spanish, I believe. I know definitely in German because I was gonna pick this series up in German at first. This is what the front cover looks like for Honey X Honey Drops and then the spine and the back. And at the back it says Master Kai Renge and then Honey Yuzuru Hagino. Hands down, this is Minami Kanan's best works in my opinion. And I feel like a lot of you guys will agree with me as well if you have read this series and her works before. This series is like that typical synopsis, you know, rich boy and the poor girl coming together and their romance blossoms is that type of series. So I have my anime list up on my phone right now of Honey X Honey Drops so I can read the 
synopsis for you guys. So Yuzuru is a 15 year old girl who is attending her first year in Hujo Academy. At her summer job she met a troublesome rich boy, Renj Kai, who was attending the same school as her. Kai is part of the Kugeka, a class opened only to the rich students of Hujo. So basically Kai is one of the elites, you know, the rich boys, you know, boys over flowers. He's basically like the top dog, okay? At the end of the summer break, she finds out that she has become Kai's honey. So um, this nickname is given to all students from the regular class, chosen to be the Kugeka to become their assistants. So they say it's assistants, but to be honest, it's more like their play thing in a way. Like, so um, the main girl character becomes the rich boy's play thing. But um, yeah, I know it sounds a bit uh, sketchy, but let's carry on with the synopsis so that the rich boys can be successful without any problem. The upside to being a honey is that all their school fees will be taken care of. Although Yuzuru family has some financial problems, she doesn't want to accept her role of being Kai's honey. But the only way to quit is to leave the school. What is she to do? So from my explanations and me reading the synopsis, I think you guys can see that Minami Kanam's work is kind of spicy and saucy, you know, maybe too spicy for the English readers. That's why maybe her works are not published in English because her works are amazing, to be honest. If I want to read a smart, I would read any series from Minami Kanan. Like all her works are chef kiss a1 but yeah so this is volume one and let me flick through some pages for you guys let me just make sure there's no like etchy scenes you know because this is a smut series and um it looks like oh there's a lot of etchy okay i'll start from here so this is what the art style looks like as you can tell it is very very pretty and stunning like her drawings is just oh nice and you guys would have seen in oh that's a bit saucy that page so i'm gonna show you this page instead as it looks much more family friendly compared to the other pages that i was showing you without realizing but you can tell her artwork is very beautiful it is very similar to her other series that i've shown in my last japanese manga haul but yeah i can't wait to read this and um literally every page that i was flicking through showing you guys it was too it was too steamy there is a lot of steamy pages within the first volume which um just shows how how smutty this series is this series is fantastic and i feel like if you are a minami kanan fan you will agree with me as well saying that this is your favorite out of all her series that she has made um but yeah that is volume one and then let's see what volume two looks like so this is what volume two looks like and the main guy character he is so so handsome so this is the spine and the back volume 3 literally minami kanan like her art style is a1 like look how good these guys look these are 2d men and i'm gushing over them like what <laughs> but um yeah i hope you guys don't mind me gushing over minami kanan's works like her art style and her plots are just <laughs> just too saucy and juicy but um yeah this is volume 3 the spine and the back volume 4 spine and the back volume five volume six and this is one of my favorite covers to be honest i feel like yuzuru looks very pretty here and then the spine and the back and volume seven if you can tell all the guys look like bishonens as they are bishonens and if you don't know what bishonens are it's basically handsome men you know and um yeah oh, the cover art is so beautiful this is the last volume volume eight and i just love how great the condition is i feel like out of all the manga i own love monster has to be the worst condition manga i've ever had i think even though i have manga from tokyo pop that looks battered and beat I think battered and beat is better than a smelly manga. That's just my opinion, but um, that can be easily fixed with dryer sheets. So this is what the spines look like all together, and it looks so pretty and colorful. And if you can tell, the paper is very, very white, which I'm so surprised. Like, look how white it is compared to Love Monster. I'm so sorry I'm putting so much shame on Love Monster right now, but yeah, it's only this one looks a bit yellow here but the rest looks in pristine condition and I'm so happy that I bought from the seller like literally the seller customer service A1 1010 
100%. So I'm gonna go back on their page and buy more manga from them because this, I, I'm just, I'm just so happy with my purchase right now. So the next series I got from the same seller is We Were There or Bokura Gaita. And um, yeah, it is a series that's quite out of print nowadays in the UK. I'm not too sure with the other Western countries, but in the UK, it's quite hard to find the volumes. You probably find like volume one or two and then the rest will be really super out of print and hard to find. But yeah, this is a series that I've read probably like, I don't know how long I read this, probably like seven or eight years ago. So it's been a long time and I feel like it'd be fun to read this in Japanese. I feel like with the series, even though it's considered a shoujo, it did feel like a Jose series as it covers certain things that um, Jose manga does. So um, yeah, I really like this. It's quite mature in a way, even though this series is set in high school. But yeah, I'm gonna unwrap this bubble wrap and I just like how everything is just wrapped so nicely. And like, yeah, it's split into two. So this series has 16 volumes in total. So this is what it looks like all together lined up. But yeah, let's unopen this and I'll show you guys what the cover art looks like. Also what I like about the seller is the shipping. Um, they shipped this parcel with FedEx and it only took two days to arrive in the UK, which is crazy. As if you think of it, like it has to go through customs. So this series is a bit more yellow, but that's fine. So this is what volume one of Bokura Gaita or We Were There and I'm really excited to read this in Japanese and um, yeah let's look through some pages actually. The art style is actually quite cutesy in a way, it's very different as well but um, you guys can see for yourself if you can tell there's not a lot of details so it's like quite light like the drawings there's more white pages than dark if that makes sense like there's less shading. And this is what volume two looks like. And I remember reading this series and watching the anime and it gave off the similar vibes of Kimini Todoke. And um, yeah, that's another series I would love to collect. However, I think it has 30 volumes. I know Kimini Todoke is quite hard to find nowadays, especially in the UK. So I don't think I will ever be able to pick it up in English. Maybe I'll do the same thing and pick it all up in Japanese, but we'll see. But um, this is volume two, spine. And back, volume three, volume four. This is such a cute cover art, not gonna lie. And the back is so cute. Volume five, volume six, volume seven, volume eight. So that bubble wrap held eight volumes of Bokura Gaita. And then the rest is here, which is volume nine to 16, which I'm gonna just cut and open. So this is what volume nine looks like. And the back, the back is so pretty. Volume 10 and at the back, I don't know if it's a dog or cat, but this is so cute. Volume 11, volume 12 and the back. Volume 13 and the back. Volume 14. I feel like this series also has a Japanese drama, not just an anime as well. Volume 15. And the back of this cover is so, so cute. Look at it. And I guess with the other volume, he was holding a dog as well. Probably the same dog. And yeah, this series is very mature for what it is. And um, I feel like if you want to read anything to do with like first romance or anything to do with like your first love, it's a great one. It does touch on like mature stuff, which um, yeah, is, is a great read. This is what the last volume looks like and it's volume 16 and at the back it says 2012. And I'm just so chuffed with this manga seller. Um, I, I, I still can't believe how great the manga conditions are. And uh, I'm so happy I opened this parcel last as well because imagine I opened the mandarake last, I'll be so pissed off. Like I'm glad that this was able to cheer me up and just, uh, feel good you know but I'm gonna put this all back in the box and show you guys what it looks inside so I just put back all the manga inside the parcel and guys it looks so sick like look at this isn't that beautiful like look how beautiful this looks like it's all aligned like yeah this is stunning I love it but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this manga haul and this vlog where I rambled a lot but right now I'm just a happy gal that I was able to pick up Honey X Honey Drops like look at this like oh I had this in my collection no way I, st I still can't believe it but um I'm super happy right now but I'm gonna have dinner soon as 
like I said, I just finished work and um, I am starving and I'm tired. I feel like I need a nap. Before I pop off, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, and click on the bell. And also stay tuned for the giveaway as well. Hopefully in the next two videos, I will announce it. So I hope you guys are buzzing for that. Um, yeah, feel free to use my um, affiliate links down below as well to continue to support this channel and its future giveaways. But yeah, I hope you guys didn't mind this long ass video of me rambling and just showing you guys manga that I got from Japan but yeah I'm definitely gonna pop off now because my eyes are just like drifting and I'm just so tired right now and I just need my dinner and my shower and some sleep and yeah I hope you guys are well and stay blessed and yeah I'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>